In order to make your remotes work with your new ES1000 gate opener or your gate opener that uses an ES Classic board, you're going to have to hook up your receiver to the receiver port. You should have a wire that looks like this and has a clip on the end. Before you attach the clip to the receiver port, you want to run your wire out of the control box. This is important because once this plug is in this port, these wires are live and you can't let them touch. So don't plug this in until everything is done on the receiver end. Take the end of the wire and run it through a hole in your control box out to the receiver. Leave enough cable inside to attach this to the port, but do not do that yet. That is your final step. The receiver can be positioned outside. It is drip proof. It must be in an upright position. If it is leaning or laying flat, water will get inside the receiver and damage it. You will have three wires, a green, a white, and a red. Inside the receiver, you will also have a fourth wire. It is a wire that is already pre-connecting the second CH1 terminal to the ground terminal. We're going to start with the green wire. The green wire goes on the first CH1 terminal. It's the second terminal from the left. It should not have a wire in it currently. The white wire will go in the third terminal from the left, the second CH1 terminal. This is the terminal that has the wire connecting over to ground. You're going to have both the jumper wire that's connecting to ground and the white wire in this terminal. Lastly, we have a red wire. This goes in the second to last terminal on the right, labeled V positive. A frustrating thing that can happen if you don't check that your wires are in tight is when you put the receiver cover on, a wire comes loose and your remote stop working and you spend unnecessary time troubleshooting a problem. With the wires placed properly in the receiver, you can now connect your receiver plug to the receiver port. The red wire should be facing the bottom. Lastly, you can reconnect power to your control board. And the red power light should be on the receiver. And you can now program your receiver.